Okay, so explain to me, what is this doing now? Okay, so it's an ischemic therapy. The bars are super heavy. That's about 280 pounds on your hamstrings. When you have chronically tight muscles, like you most likely do to, due to bodybuilding, overworking them, they're actually lacking blood flow or maximum contractibility when they're kind of pseudo contracted all the time, right? Like half contracted all the time. So you can't get it through a full range of motion if it's already in some kind of contraction. Does that make sense? Yes. So with this weight, you get an ischemic release. So ischemic meaning removal of blood. Very, very subtly. It's not like we're taking all the blood from the leg, but you might notice your feet feel a little bit numb yes. or throbbing in your hamstrings right yes. now. Yes. Okay. So that is a delay of the blood getting into that muscle group forces that muscle contraction to release because it doesn't have that oxygenation and that that whole pathway can't take place and then the weight of the bar actually lengthens the muscle it gives it a good stretch while it's in that starvation state and how long do we sit here for like five six minutes oh my god okay yeah you doing okay yeah great and then we do leg day and then we do leg day okay Right? I'm also going to have you flip over and we're going to do this on your front as well. Get your quads released. Oh, no. I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> we'll do a quick video. Take we'll quick bit of that too. Okay. Great. Oh. Alright. So now we're doing my quads. Oh, God. I'm trying to just breathe. are not willing to do what it takes to make their dreams come true. The Marines have a saying, everybody wants to go to heaven. Self-love is, hey, look, 
I know you got a, a, a test on Monday, you know, and I know you really want to go out with your friends on Saturday night, you want to go out, but if you fail that test, you're not going to feel good about yourself. You know, I just, I love you too much to let you go out tonight. Self-discipline is self-love. If you want to be happy, you have to love yourself, which means you have to discipline your behavior. The road to sustained happiness is through disciplining your behavior. We tend to base our self-esteem on what other people think. And that's not really self-esteem. Self-esteem is supposed to be how we feel about ourselves. And I was just saying how dangerous it is to... So I wanted to come on here real quick. You just finished watching my chiropractic appointment, which she also adjusted me, um, and then also taped up my back. Um, and then uh, you didn't see my warm-up, which my warm-up was on the sled. Um, at, well, started with reverse hypers and with just one plate on each side. And then I did the sled three times forward and back. Um, warm up my hips, hamstrings, quads, back, everything. Um, and then we went right over to squats. So, you know, I want you guys to know that it is okay to fail. I, I'm, I'm really happy about the workout and I don't know if Ted did what he did on purpose. Like, I don't know if it was to like kind of make me feel better or maybe if he thought, which I'm not a negative person, maybe if he thought that I was upset at the fact that I failed at 315, I, I'm not upset. Like, there were a lot of little variables, variables that came into play about something that happened yesterday and all that other stuff and my back's not bothering me. Um, that was something new that I did with um, Andrea, so... You know, and again, I'm not really dieting, but I kind of am for this photo shoot. So like, I'm a lot leaner, I'm a lot lighter, but however, I don't feel like that's, I feel like you can still continue to get stronger even if I stay at this weight. Um, so uh, I, but what my favorite part was, you know, the box didn't go from like 17 inches to 16 inches. It went from 17 inches to 15. So it was a two inch drop in my range of motion and I got 295 clean. I probably could have done 305 and then I failed. I went a little bit too slow like we talked about it afterwards. And then he dropped it down to 225 and you know, you if you could hear, like everybody was cheering me on which also really helped. Um, and then Andrea, the car, my chiropractor who was in the background, she was screaming one more because she thought that it was gonna be a set of five. So. I'm sure Ted was either trying to push me, like to kind of like make, show me that, you know, I could do more than I think or whatever. But all I know is that it felt really good to do that for eight reps. Um, really good. Uh, after that, you saw in the video that I did the Zurchers. Um, that to me kind of feel more like a Romanian deadlift, but whatever. Um, and then we supersetted at the end uh, reverse hypers with heavier weight. We did three rounds of two plates on each side, supersetted with the glute ham machine um, with just one plate on each side. Uh, not the glute ham machine, the glute bridge machine, which uh, hopefully like nobody gets upset at this, but like that machine is over at Premier Fitness, which is another gym that I work out at when I do my bodybuilding workouts, and it's over there. I personally don't like that machine. I would much rather sit on the floor, lay under a bench, and I feel it not at all in my back. I feel it in my glutes 100%, and I do not feel it in my legs or anything like that. On that piece of equipment, like it's, I, I feel it way more in my quads than I ever feel in my back, and that I feel in my uh, glutes, and I feel it even a little bit in my back. So I tried to play around with my foot position, so he had me do like 10 heavy reverse hypers and then 20 bridges, and I did three sets, and then that was it. So, you know, between taking breaks in between and then learning, I love listening. I mean, I learn so much. Um, I, I literally tell him, and I encourage anybody, like, I don't care what you do for work. If you're going to somebody that specializes in something that you don't specialize in, even if it's kind of in your area of expertise, 
just be a sponge. So like I tell them, when I walk in there, I'm not a personal trainer. I'm not a health coach. I know nothing. I don't even know what a squat is. So like I just, I won't fight anything. I will just absorb the information and learn because I, I'm not doing powerlifting. I will not be competing in powerlifting. That is not why I'm there. Um, I am there because I have no an unbelievably obnoxious amount of success stories of people that have um, had herniated discs and then come back from that and squat an obnoxious amount. Um, and I love their philosophies. You've heard it in some of my videos. It's about building strength. So if my back and my legs and my everything are strong, 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 and then I have a little bit of a setback, maybe one day I'm doing a bodybuilding workout, I get tired, fatigue, and I have a setback, I'm still so far away from the injury. And that's like, almost exactly the way that I train. I train I, 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 I train my clients, I train myself um, to push past my limits and to get my body so strong that I'm stronger than my injuries. So like some people might make comments and I've had some people make some comments on these YouTube videos um, about why do I do this and this exercise is this and why do you have to lift heavy about this? But dude, I, I was told I needed a double knee replacement um, like 15 years ago. Um, my back issue that I had in 1999, um, car accident that I was in, like I statistically should not, and my Crohn's disease, like I shouldn't be doing the things that I'm doing, but it's because I'm smart with my training and I'm smart with everything that I do. And that's the reason why I've been able to keep my legs strong, get my legs strong, get my back strong, like all those things. It just happened to be a fluke. I am not an ego lifter, um, but there happened to be three workouts for the first time in 30 years, 20 years, uh, that I lifted with my ego. I worked out with somebody and I went heavier than I would have gone on my own. Some people are motivated by working out with other people and I have come to realize after the, those three workouts that I train really hard. I don't need to work out with somebody to push me because sometimes that push is a little further than I should technically do. And again, I don't need somebody to push me because I already train hard. Sometimes that extra push will be a little bit too far. So that's just personally me. Um, most people don't train to their potential. So that's why it's good to have like to have a trainer, to have somebody to put you through workouts, to have somebody to work out with, as long as they're educated and they're not injuring you. So, you know, again, uh, I, I'm, I'm beyond happy with my progress. I'm beyond happy with how my recovery is going. I can't even believe that it's the 27th today and I was in the hospital almost 30 days ago from December 30th to January 2nd and... I am doing the things that I'm doing. So I'm just very happy. And I hope you guys are inspired by any of these videos, whether it's my core workouts, my in my own studio workouts, my bodybuilding workouts, and then these workouts that I'm doing more just to show you that you can come back. I'm not saying that if you have a herniated disc, you should start squatting because there's way more to my program than just squatting. Um, and it also, the reason why I'm doing the things that I'm doing is because I have the background that I have. So, um, that's it. Hope you guys are inspired and...